And I'm back with another old... <laughs> Can you tell I went too overboard with my subscriptions and advent calendars? I'm back with another advent calendar that should have been open last year. Oh my goodness. And I did not open... I'm not opening until this year. So again, all the spending is on freeze until I get through all this stuff that I have that I want to show you guys. Uh, Nostalgica, which is owned by Candy Cooper, you can find her on Facebook, has a new version of this advent calendar So for Christmas. So I recommend that you go visit their site and you know check out because like I bought last the year before last because this is last year's I bought the year before last and I really loved it so I decided to get this one again and show you guys but again it just got to be too overwhelming with all the subscriptions that I was getting all the you know and I was also ambassador and it was just overwhelming I could not keep up to be honest so now we're clearing everything out and you guys get the benefit of all the tutorials <laughs> and then you can see if it's something you like and to buy next year but i think you'll like it so when you buy the advent calendar she does subscription boxes i mean she does two little tutorials of every day on her facebook channel so i didn't get to see them so i have no idea what's in here so let's discover this you and me okay before i go if you like these type of videos then i suggest you hit that subscribe button and if you like this video after watching it then i really really appreciate it if you can like the if you could hit that like button as it really really helps my channel grow and i appreciate you very much for doing that all right let's get into it all right so this is what we get peanuts <laughs> so if i remember correctly they were individually wrapped personally i don't like peanuts i think they're bad for the environment but hey to each their own all right so let's see so here is the 25 beads of christmas packing slip you pre-order it and look at you've got all these beautiful little packages so we'll go through them all and then at the end i will make something with one of the days i won't do all of the days maybe i'll do them in shorts so you guys can check it out so anyway let's get started oh we got safety pins that's cute little wooden safety pins i think it's so that you can hang them up you know put them each part per day hang up the hang these up per day that'd be super cute huh neat idea candy candy is awesome she does some beautiful work she's so artistic and she doesn't just have beads she has all sorts of other stuff that she curates from artists and stuff two can we find one so let's see two three four five one okay so let me move this out of the way let's see what's in number one i'm gonna have to do something with those little mini safety pens they look they look neat all right so this is day number one let's see what we got hopefully i don't cut anything important Oh, like a little candy cane. All right, let's see. So maybe this year she decided to, because before it was like one kit per. Okay, so 25 days is beads. So maybe it's just beads. I mean, that's what it is. So we've got these turquoise, gorgeous little beads, gorgeous little turquoise beads for day one. Might just be beads, you guys. Ah, because last year it was kits. I won't need to. Well, we'll have to accumulate it. I have to. I owe you guys a tutorial, so we'll still do that. <laughs> so let's go through these days. I don't know if this year she has 25 days of beads or. I thought I saw that it was 25 days of kit kitsmas. She calls it kitsmas. Oh, look at this bead. That's a beautiful, like tribal looking bead. All right. Oh my gosh. I hope she had help him putting this uh, wrapping each individual candy out. <laughs> All right, so we've got like a fleur de lis, a little coin type bead, four, a 
flower beads, it looks like. Every day you have little beads to work with. They look like bone, little flower bone beads. I remember last year, I think it was last year, her shop got shut down because she does a pre-order and Et her Etsy shop got, was it last year? No, you know what? It was the year before. Her shop got shut down because she was not shipping on time. But this, it was a pre-order, so it was totally unfair. Not nice, Etsy. Look at this. Wow, it's got like, it's a three-hole bead. How gorgeous is that? It's like a peacock. The feathers of a peacock. Pretty cool. Got six. So we got really pretty bugle beads. Seven. Oh, look at this stone. That's pretty cool. And it's a large hole too. So you could probably use leather. Eight. We got some drops. Well, look at that with pink flowers. Like, and you know, uh, patinaed with pink flowers. Nine. These look fun. They look like paper beads. Yeah, I think they are. Beautiful paper beads. Got 10. It's like a feather bead. Very cool. 11. Look at that. These are pretty. Like pearl shell beads. 12. Got some pretty pumpkin style beads. They are periwinkle. 13. We've got some rhinestones. Pretty colorful. We've got 14. Look at how gorgeous these are. They almost have like a, a rose gold finish and then they're sparkly. Just little metal frames. Yeah, see? So they've got the little metal frame and then you put stuff through them. We've got 16. Oh, look at this one. It's like a barrel, antique barrel type style bead. 17. So these gorgeous crystal type, they have like a, a, a B finish to them and we've got 18 but is it? it almost looks like their faces definitely a handmade glass natural stone very cool 20 oh this one's fun look at this bead very unique that's what before i go on it comes with a strand of sparkle little sparkle lights so it she included everything which is cool so you just pull the tab out and then I'm assuming you hang these up and then you use the, so she did everything that you hang them up and you with the paper clips and the sparkly lights. So very cute. It's a beautiful, it's a really adorable idea. I love it. I don't know what she has planned for this year, but I'm sure it'll be something fun. So we've got like a metal style bar, pretty cool looking. That was 21, 22. So we've got some wood beads, 23. Ooh, look at that one. Okay, that one's really pretty. I'd like to know where if she had more of those. T4. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Turquoise heart. And definitely last but not least, put a little key on there, Nostalgica. <gasps> Ooh, okay, definitely a grand finale. How gorgeous is that? You could even like, wouldn't you be able to do like something? Look at that. That is beautiful. I would make something to, usually I make, you know, things I make, I want to sell. Not this one. This one is for my collection. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Last year, I must have figured out it was 25 days of beads. Um, while I love the setup of the kit, I guess I'm, I'm not too like, I, I love the setup of the kit. I think it's really cute. You've got your little clothespins, you've got your little lights and you know, individually wrapped. It, it probably took a lot of time and effort to put this together, but it, I would have preferred, I knew I shouldn't, you know, I probably knew that it was 25 days of beads, but maybe I was expecting more beads than just one bead could be i don't know so while i think it's beautiful i don't think i would buy a kit like this again i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments below anyway let's make something with some of these beads how about that again i would check out candy's website this is not sponsored uh, she doesn't know i'm making this video i just wanted to share with you guys what i ordered i love surprises I love surprise boxes, which is why I love subscription boxes. 
So that's why I ordered it last year. All right, so let me grab my tools and some materials and let's see what we can make. I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. I left these out. I think we make we can make a pair of pretty earrings with these. Let me know what you guys think once we're done. So I'm just going to use these four items and then I have antique brass since hopefully it'll go with these. I guess I can use antique copper. Hold please. Let me see if I got some antique copper. Four hours later. I think this is 20 gauge. I bought it in a kit. So I want to go through it. <laughs> Let me just straighten this with my nylon gel pliers. Like so. And bring this through here. So before I put these little beads on here. But hopefully we can fit three. There we go. And three. Yeah, that'll look pretty. And then bring that through the other hole here. There we go. And then I was thinking, even if they're, they're silver, I figured it would look pretty to put some of these on there since they're colorful and sparkly. Let's see, I think this one. Um, maybe not. Yeah, that doesn't look good. We will just leave these to the side because they might not, well, they might go on here. We'll see. All right, so let's close this, this one up. Basically, all I'm gonna do is a simple loop so that I actually need way less than that. <laughs> so about there. And, and then grab your round nose pliers. Make a simple loop. Like that. Same with the other side. these out and we've got that if we put one there and there and one there what do you guys think I'm not quite liking that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you I'll put this here like so and then you guys might have already seen me do this before, but you can make your own little head pins using our round nose pliers. Grab the very end and turn it like that. And then you can squish it here. Like so. And then what I like to do is I like to cut the very end because it ends up being straight and it disfigures my see how now we've got perfectly rounded I don't know hopefully it shows so it's got a perfectly rounded end now what you can do is take this guy like that and then you have a perfect little round end like so and go around Make sure you've got a good grip so you don't strip your wire. Like so. Just like that. And then you can either leave it like that and have a really cute little loop on the end. Or what I like to also do is just bend it like that. And then there. And then it will be a head pin with a little swirly on the end. And bend it. Bring your round nose pliers. Oop. 
that little part. I think I cut a little bit. That's okay. I love these little bent nose pliers because they're really tiny and you can get in there and won't end up many loops. There. Now we've got our bead. Take this guy and end up. And there we go. We've got our earring. But let me just, we're gonna put an ear wire. So let me go and make the other one super quick. All right, you guys, so here is, let me turn the light so you can see me a little bit. Here are the earrings all finished. What do you think? I think they turned out super cute and they fit my outfit. I kind of like it. But you also might see them end up in my Etsy shop. I have to say it before anybody thinks it, I will change the ear, the ear wire because otherwise that's very unhygienic. So I would put a fresh ear wire on this one. I did make the other one, but again, I don't want to put it on because they might end up in my Etsy shop. But what do you guys think? Do you think I do? I think they're pretty cute. So let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm glad I got another Cal advent calendar box out of the way the it's slowly collection is slowly dwindling of boxes package boxes i have to get through but here we go this is for the 25 days of beads from nostalgica by candy cooper again go check out her website i love to support small businesses she's got a lovely website she's a lovely lady go check her out on facebook as well and as that is all for now so thank you so much if you watched until now for, for now i'll leave you with the gem advent calendar unboxing i did last week up here in the corner or here somewhere right there <laughs> i can never tell because the camera's backwards but go check that out thank you so so much for supporting me i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye